ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ್ಯಕೆ ಪಾಸಿಂದುಭವಶ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಗ ಹೈತಿಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ವೃಂದಾವೈತೋಷಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸ್ವತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀಂ ಸ್ವರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಭರನ್ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಿಂಚಿನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪುನೋತಪಾಲ್ಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣಾರ್ವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗವಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗ್ರಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಪಾಂಕರೋಸಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾಬದಾತು ಶಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರೌ ಕಮಲಾಯಥಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಷಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಯುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲು ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾಬದಾಥು ಶಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರೌ ಕಮಲಾಯಥಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಷಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಯುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲು ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಾಸಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತ ಬಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಶ ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀತ್ ತ್ವಂ ನಿಶಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ 
हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे निम्न गान यथा गंगा देवाच्युत यथा वैष्णवान यथा शंभु पुराण तो इद भागवत निम्न गान यथा गंगा देवाच्युत यथा वैष्णवान यथा शंभु पुराण तो इद भागवत गौरगोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर पहुपा परमश जगदगुरु सेड दैट द कन्सियनेस अफ दिस कमन पब्लिक और दो आर सो कल डिवोटिज दे आर कन्सियनेस इज कवर्ड अप उथ व द फ्रग फग फग कवर्ड अप उथ द फग अफ कर्म ज्ञान ध्यान दिस कैंड अफ कन्सेपन that's why we don't know when they can reach the platform of devotional perfection we cannot give any guarantee bhagwa ji they have naturally they are given liberty by bhagwan so they can misuse and they can lose everything we have nothing to do gauriya goshti bhakti sisila bhakti siddhant saraswati goshami ke bahupad paramahansa jagat guru said the consciousness of whole world is covered up with a fog of karma gyan everything so we don't know when they can reach the perfection of that devotional platform there is no guarantee pope art speaking by this material eyes material brain material mind we can never see a guru vishnu bhagwan many time i told the siddhant vichara prabhupad prabhupad used to say guru vishnu bhagwan can reserve the right of not being exposed to your sense organ they are self manifesting object if guru vishnu like to show their own swarup to me then i can see i if they like to cheat me then by watching that i am a cheater guru when guru vishnu watching i am a cheater then they cheat me double number one cheater guru vishnu guru vishnu number one cheater you don't know because they are watching those who are cheater for them guru vishnu is cheater those who are not cheater have sincerity they like to get the lotus feet of bhagwan for them is not cheat like the case i already told when by the order of bhaktivinu thakur when by the order of bhaktivinu thakur popad wanted to take shelter of gorkishila gorkishad das bhaji maharaj he was rejected 17 times he was rejected 17 times okay i have no time you come after okay i can this i can ask nitananda if he is ready i can give this way 17 times was cheated after that when pope was speaking well you need not give diksha i am i am going to jump into ganga to finish my life then gorki sir baba jump running behind well you come 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 i can give diksha to you they are going to test this way 17 times so ramanusha jo also was 17 times was cheated so this is the guru vishnu is self manifesting object by your brain by by your intellect we cannot see by your eyes material eyes we cannot see guru vishnu bhagwan that is why prabhu was speaking many time guru vishnu is a worshipable object guru vishnu is a worshipable object in our life even more than bhagwan i don't know who is bhagwan who is bhagwan i don't know we like to worship guru vishnu 
because by the Ursi of Guru Vaishnava, surely Bhagavan can come. Guru Padma used to give one example. One coward boy is fighting with the Gomata. She is not coming from the field. Many times he used to give this example. Coward boy is trying his best to bring the Gomata in Goshala. It's a failure. Then somebody is suggesting, why not you take the cup in the lap and go? Oh, really? You take the cup in the lap and you go, the Gomata can come. This is the example. When I take the cup of Gomata, then I need not fight. You come, come, automatically come. So the commitment of Bhagavan, Aham Bhakta Paradhino, Hi Ashatantra Ivodiyo, it's not a matter of joke. Really so. It is really contradictory. From the Bhagavatam, first sloka, first sloka, first, can to first sloka, yanma dasu yato yanamiyadi turas, itarato shatiso, savigya sarato, ya savigya sarato. You need not give any information to Bhagavan to know anything. In the infinity world, in the infinity world, wherever you think, Bhagavan can know everything simultaneously at a time. Anything happening, anywhere. So that Bhagavan and Sarat, he is never under the control of anybody. That means Sarat. Sarat means I myself is, you, know, you need not help anybody. But that Bhagavan is also under the control of that Bhagavan, who is Sarat. Omnipotent, omniscient. But that Bhagavan, Almighty, infinity world, Oishadya, Shashamagra, Savijya, Sajasasas, with all decorative six appliances, infinity. Six appliances, infinity is decorative. But still, that Bhagavan is under the control of devotee. That is the excellency. That is why we like to jump into the seva of Bhagavan. Why we like to jump? When we can understand the quality of Pohupad, Excellency, then we can go and bow down. Not before that. Not before that. So this kind of quality is there in Bhagavan. That is why all devotees like to bow down in front of Bhagavan, like to offer everything. Manasa deho geho Jo ki chumoro or pinu tua podi non do ki show. That's why this way offer. There's the same thing. There's the same thing for why Shankar Bhagavan is going to offer everything until Lord Speed of Bhagavan. That is why Shankar Bhagavan like to offer everything to Bhagavan. Nothing. Even cloth is not there. Nothing there. Met it here. Even Bhagavan, Sankar, not going to take any good flower because he all offered to Bhagavan. A good flower I cannot give. Those were nobody taking, all useless, you can give to me because I offer everything to Bhagavan. I have no right to take. No enjoying mood there inside the heart of Vaishnava. Vaishnava Raj Shambhu. So he offered everything, everything unto the lotus feet of Bhagavan. But the apparent, apparent behavior of Sank Sankar Bhagavan is really confusing. Apparent behavior of Sankar Bhagavan is really confusing. Bhagavad Ji Mahapuran is the topmost evidence, Mahaprabhu told. Simad Bhagavaji Mahapuran about, about Simad Bhagavaji Mahapuran, our Mahaprabhu told, Simad Bhagavatam Pramana Mamalam Prema Pumartha Mahan Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Matam Idam Tatra Dharanapara. That's when Bhagavaji Mahapuran is topmost evidence. So there it is written, he is Vaishnava Raj. He is the king of all Vaishnava. King of all Vaishnava in the infinite world. But if you put question, then why 
that Brajavasi is the oh, oh, this is the question of Brajavasi. Is the personal matter of Krishna. But all other in infinity world, if you calculate Vaishnava Raj Sambhu is the topmost. We are not going to compare Vaishnava with Radharani. This is absurd because this is a personal matter of Krishna, internal matter. It's not. But anyway, Vaishnava Raj Sambhu is external behavior is really confusing. External behavior is really confusing. Nobody can understand. He is Vaishnava, how Vaishnava? He is no tilak, nothing. This kind of tilak. And uh, his behavior is also strange. Staying in a <coughs> crematorium ground, this, that, sometimes Himalayan do, doing astritian finances, you know. So, how we can understand this Vaishnava? <coughs> I can give one example by the help of which you can, two examples, by the help of which you can understand that even heavenly demigods, they cannot understand the Sarupa Vaishnavas. Even the planets, they cannot run. So who are you and me? Like I can give the case of Pundarik Vidyanidhi. Such a great exalted devotee is rare. Yes or not? Yes. But our Gadadhar Pandit externally is manifesting Leela. He could not understand Pundarik Vidyanidhi. By watching his external appliances, oh, this much appliances, he's Vaishnav. My heart is a great Vaishnav. Now watching that, you know, like a king. No symptom of what symptom you like to see. What symptom you symptom you like to see? Vaishnav can cheat you. So this way, Vaishnav sitting like a king. Mukundo could realize, Mukundo could realize that Gadadhar going to misunderstand this great devotee. It's a great offense. Immediately he started speaking two sloka from Bhagavatam. You know, many times so. Baraha piram natabarabapu karnayu karnikaram vidhadavasa kanakakupisan vayyan tincha malam randha naveno radarasudaya purayana gopavindai vrindarannam sapadaramana This kind of sloka. Aho voki yam yam astana kala kutam this sloka. After that what happened? Then Godadar Pandit could realize what a great exalted devotee. Devotion is not a matter of exhibition. I am not opening one exhibition. The thousands of people come. Rather, I, I throw them away. Go away from me. Don't come to me. I cannot accept you. Go away. You go elsewhere. So, devotional field is contaminated totally. Even a wishy idea is not there. In my whole life, I have not seen even a single man after Guru Bhargava, who is really ready to dedicate his whole life, soul, everything. Like for Bhagavan, they like to serve, all contaminated. Nobody like to obey. Nobody like to obey. That's why Bhakti Thakur wanted to manifest this kind of lila or keep in silence. Like a paralytic presence. North Thakur also. To cheat us, because we are cheated. So I like to keep silence, so that you go anywhere. I am not going to help you. I wanted to save you, but... So, this way, it was discovered that Pundarak Vedana is, is a great devotee. Such a great devotee here on this earth. By the name of Pundarik Vedana, the Mahaprabhu crying, Pundarik, Pundarik. People asking, where is Pundarik? Who is Pundarik Prabhu? Don't understand. But you can realize very shortly he is coming. So you understand. Mahaprabhu calling the name of Pundarik and crying. Like the case of Bhakti Thakur, when he was district magistrate in Puri, one great exalted devotee, big devotee, such a devotee rare. Jagannath liked to take Bhakti Thakur in his lap and kiss. 
But I am going to misunderstand Bhakti Thakur simply. He externally, no tilak, no mala, no apron, nothing. Not going to foreign country for preaching, that's why I like to reject him. One sadhu, Bhakti Thakur used to respect him. He also started misuse, misunderstanding. And the day he started misunderstanding Bhakti Mithrakur, from then or his bhajan, everything finished. He cannot do bhajan. He is doing Harinam, but he don't like to do Harinam. You see, when you are doing offense, na, you can feel burning condition. When you do mala, mala, you don't, disgusted, harikatha. I purposely drive away people, go away from me, don't come to me, go elsewhere. Because they, like, they never like to get bhakti. They like to get la, puja, patishta, glamour. This is their... So, let them go there. Srila Sukhdev Goswami wanted to speak Harikatha in front of Parikhid Maya alone. Alone. It is by chance though you see they are coming. Actually, Parikhid Sukhdev Goswami wanted to speak Harikatha in front of whom? In front of Parikhid Maha. Sukhdev Goswami wanted to speak. So, crores of people can understand Harikatha, they can realize everything. It's absurd. We cannot expect. That's why, if we are going to break our heart by thinking, oh, nobody is going to accept us, there is foolishness. Because Prabhupada many times told, most of the people in the whole world are not going to accept the rare piece of advice by given by Rupa Raghunath. By watching this, why you are going to break your heart? With full enthusiastic mood, go on speaking. Go on speaking about this. This is your duty. You are not going to think result. How many people uh, hearing, how many people giving me pranami, then you are not a Vaishnava. If you have no self -friendliness, if you have no self why you are going to play your head over this matter? Why? Eh? A lady dancing, naked. So, lakhs of crores of people watching. That doesn't mean it's authentic. That doesn't mean it's authentic. So, those are pros in the name of Acharya. Pros. Bhakti Muttav Prabhupada speaking. They are pros. I am not speaking. Mahaprabhu speaking. You know, to Balavacharya. Those who are not going to accept Siddha Sai, but they are pros. I count their name in that list of pros. So in the name of in the name of preaching Gaurubani, what you are doing? What you are doing? What you are doing? Can you give answer after leaving your body? Can you give answer? You cannot give answer. You cannot justify even your own behavior, character. Then how you can justify other people? You are going to just, you know, keep judging. You cannot justify yourself. You have doubt about it. Oh, what I am doing? This is the condition. So we have our right to express doubt to Sankar Bhagavan's behavior. So Bhakti Thakur, that Maharaj, Running and coming and catch the lotus feet of Bhakti. What you are doing? You are Maharaj, I am ordinary man. Maha, Thakur, I came to know who are you. Please excuse me. I thought you are not a Vaishnava, not accepted Guru, no Gayatri, nothing you are doing. And no Kanti Mala, no Japa Mala, nothing. You are pa passing lecture, I thought. But after that, by the grace of Nityananda Balaram, I came to know you are a great, exalted devotee. Eternal Parsad of Gauranga. So if you cannot discover there is Kantamala in the neck of Sukhdev Goswami, if you cannot discover any Japamala, that doesn't mean that he is not a Vaishnava, he is nothing. You cannot say. So Bhakti Thakur is the eternal Parsad of Gauranga. It matters little whether he is taking, accepting one guru. It is their leela. It is their leela. 
that Prabhupada is going to accept Gaurakishar Babaji Maharaj as a guru. Bhakti Mata is going to accept somebody as guru, but it's one kind of leela. If not so, then my question to you, actually spiritual knowledge, everything, or power coming by taking initiation, by taking, by getting full kipa. By getting full kipa, by getting full kipa from guru. From starting to end, from starting to end, right from the beginning and up to end. End, not end. End mean, what do you mean by end? End mean, you are going to lose your body. I, I mean, end mean, when end mean not that. When you are leading body, up to that point you can go on, you know, showing anugata, not that. Even after leaving this body, when you can enter into eternal world, there also the question of anugata there. So, anugata is not, uh, you know, a matter of joke. Anugatha is not a matter of joke. So our anugatha, eternal anugatha. Not that, oh, I come in front of Gurudev, I can show some anugatha. Not that. Our anugatha, eternal anugatha. So, if Bhakti Minut Thakur is not initiated, then my question, where from Bhakti Minut Thakur got power to write so many book, books before, you know, accepting Guru? How? How is possible? Usually, in South India also, still today, in Brahmin family, I love them. Those who are not have some biasness, those who are biasness, they don't. They still today, they follow, until and unless you are getting Brahma Gayatri and going to do some Nama, you are not, you are not, you know, you are not given opportunity to go through scriptural still today. Only after getting Gaitri, you have the right to touch Sastra. Not before that. There is the same case about uh, Gopal Vattu Goswami, who is the eternal person. But still, after getting Gaitri Mantra, everything from externally uncle, but this uncle, father, this what I hate. Material relation I don't like. But still I will have to for your... Uh, for your kind information, I'm bound to speak. So finally, what happened? After taking Gayatri, everything from from uh, from uh, no, you see, uh, you see, Baba Prabodhan and Saraswati Bhav. All scriptural discussion, learning, all done under the guidance of things. So these are the rules. So my question: How it was possible? How is that possible that Bhakti Vinod Thakur writing so many books without initiation? That clearly indicate that he is the eternal person of Bhagavan. So, Vaishnavas in Raya, you cannot understand. You cannot understand how to realize who is Vaishnava is not. By watching his Patishta, oh, lakhs of devotee Maharaj is going to foreign trip all the time. So, he is a very important Vaishnava. This is not the yardstick. This is not the yardstick on the basis of which you are going to estimate your guru. Oh, how tall, how long, eh? how fair on black or white. This is not the estimation. This is not the procedure. So, Pope of writing, you have no time to grow through this. Nijo khudra adhikare Vaishnav dekhi bare chai, Bengali. You have no right to see a Vaishnava. You are right to so teeny creature you are. In this infinity universe, you are a so teeny creature. Even virus, bacteria is more important than you. So, so you like to measure a Vaishnava by scale and tape. That is your estimation. Popat writing, Nijo khudra adhikare Vaishnava dekhi pare chai. Never mind, never feel sorry. If you have your power to hear this kind of thing, you come to me, otherwise you can go back. I have no objection. So, Prabhupada speaking, 
you have no power, no right to see a Vaishnava. But you are going to see a Vaishnava as material life. Oh. Ultimately, he are going to, you are going to commit offense on the lotus feet of Vaishnava. Then after that, your life becomes miserable, finished. Nothing more dangerous than Vaishnava Parat. Nothing more dangerous. Nothing more dangerous and fearful than Vaishnava Parat. So, at least I can try to avoid making Vaishnava. Okay, I don't, I cannot do Vaishnava bhajan. Okay, perfect. Okay, that's okay. But at least Guru Pātata used to write, used to say, at least they should avoid committing Vaishnava Parat. I never want to become Guru, never want to be an Acharya. I never want to become a number one preacher in the world, nothing. I have no, I have no such intention. I have only one intention, what is that? I like to be the servant of the servant of the servant of the servant of Guru Vaishnava. That is Kulo Shekhar, the South Indian king, great, is speaking there. Tad bhitta 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 paricharaka bhitta sabhitta iti maam smaro loko nathaha. With this, if you give me, if you, if you like to remember, if you like to remember me this way, if you can remember me this way, that's what all say, it can be. Otherwise, I have no existence, no... What identity I have? What identity I have so that I can express false ego? I am the preacher, I have done this. I express grief, I have no enmity with anybody. But I feel sorry for that Jivatma. Oh my God, how is that possible? I am crying for that Jivatma. Ha. No enmity. I have no competition with anybody. I had competition, politics, same thing. So, many people like to pass comment about Sankar Bhagavad. Hey, useless. Like that, Dakka Pajavati. It's the same case. I like to compare your case. Eh? I like to compare your case with Dakka Pajavati. Dakka Pajavati wanted to estimate Sankar. But he don't know who is Sankar. So he wanted to pass wrong comment or dirty comment. <coughs> it is written in Sastra. If you can try, you can try. You can try if you don't believe. You can speak all rubbish to a Vaishnava. Very slag language. Take away everything. If you don't like, you take away. I openly declare in, sorry, in written. You take away everything. From me, I can go away and I cannot complain anything. I am holding this post of Ape Harikata speaker by the order of Guru Varga, not to become a big Acharya. If you don't believe, all you sign big, big sadhus and give a letter, I can go away. I cannot say anything. But first, I am trying. Because otherwise Bhagavan can say, you are not trying. I'm trying. After they say, it's up to you. Whole world under your control, not my under control. Now you understand what to do, what not to do. I have tried my best, what to do. So, Prajapati Daksha, because of his high post, Prajapati Daksha, this is high post given by Brahma. He has given high post. Controlling over all praja. Oh, he thinks I am the boss, big boss. Then he started expressing some falsehood. After that, what happened? Finally, he was bound to. Because bound means is false ego means is bound. If false ego there, today or tomorrow you can make. <coughs> Vaishnava Purat is going to commit offense and to lotus feet of Sankar Bhagavan. But Sankar Bhagavan never wanted to speak anything. He told anything? Nothing. <coughs> he bear everything and go away. But it is written in Sastra, Guru Vaishnava never complain. But the dust particle from their lotus feet cannot bear the insult of their master. They can burn up. They can burn up that man. Can burn up. <coughs> 
This is the condition. <coughs> I love Shankar Bhagavan from my childhood. I don't know why. Maybe some previous sanskar. I love. But Shankar Bhagavan, I am thankful to Shankar Bhagavan for Eva is guiding me appropriate way. He helped me to reach up to this point. I am nothing. Whatever you see, that's a contribution of Shankar Bhagavan. He's helping me all the time. I wanted to ask something from Shankar, but he never wanted to give me. He never wanted to give me. I wanted to, in my young age, I wanted to, oh Shankar, it is, I used to take carry water, walking down to Tarakeshwar, long distance, small, when he used to, as a five, uh, fifth class student or sixth class. Small boy, I used to go. But Sank, I wanted to ask something else. But Sankar said, no, I cannot give you. I can give you something which is very, very precious. Like a foolish, I want, oh, you give me, give me. After that, I realized Sankar was not giving me. He is a very a topmost benefactor in my life. He wanted to give me something concrete. He wanted to give something concrete. So, it's really puzzling, the character, behavior of Shankar Bhagavan real was. People think Shankar Bhagavan taking ganja, tabaku, this thing, they give it. But Shankar Bhagavan not taking it. Shankar Bhagavan not taking it. They don't know. Is Vaishnava Raj, topmost, is the external decoration. So that nobody can understand me. Paramahansa, like Gaur Kishor Baba, Bhangshidat Baba, they are arranging the situation in such a way so that most of the people can go away from them to avoid disturbance. This is the nature. So, so Shankar Bhagavan is the topmost Vaishnava. And Bhagavan accept him as the dear or near one. The position of Shankar Bhagavan is more and more and more important than Brahma. You don't know. Position of Shankar Bhagavan is more and more and more high than the position of Brahma. Follow. If you go to Saint Cantro, you can find Brahma speaking, I am your children. I am your child. Eh? We are all your children. I am your small boy. Brahma speaking, yes. But with Sankar, Bhagavan has friendsy. Has friendsy taking the, you know, my friend. Like, you know, you know, Malai Parbat, you know, that in South India. There, Sankar or Parvati used to stay in the form of Brahman and Brahmani. And Shankar Bhagavan, without taking anybody, I mean those who are the servant, I mean, you know, what is called Kala Krishna Das. Mahaprabhu not taking anybody. Kala Krishna, you stay here, I'm coming. You stay here, then gone alone. In there, Sri Swailo, Sri Swailam, there and going to embrace the neck of Sankar and two of them discussing about Bhagavan. He himself Bhagavan. It's a friendship. So, the symptom of a friend, bluesome friend is bad. If you are my bluesome friend, or if I am your bluesome friend, then I am ready to give my life also for you, no? Yes, that is the, that is the symptom of bluesome friend. I told you na, in Bengali Gata that day. Huh? Raj Dare Shasa Necha Durvikhe Shattu Sankati. Huh? If you can find your friend when you are huh? you are feeling some problem, big problem. Then a friend is coming, I am with you, no problem. Follow. Raja Dari Shasa Necha Durvikche Shattu Sankati. If this force, Shattu Sankati means somebody going to fight me. Then friend coming to save me. There is feminine. Friend speaking, I have two chapati. You can take one, I can take one. It's a question of survival. No problem. 
You have no room, you can stay in my room. A friend is never selfish. A friend is never selfish. Try. I many times told, yesterday I was speaking in front of some devotee, afternoon time. You try to remember the symptom of a Vaishnava. That a Vaishnava, pure Vaishnava must have his strong respect and love for Sampradayak Nishtha. Guru Nishtha and Nam Nishtha. Nam Nishtha. Three again I told, there is again three symptoms, symptoms given by Prabhupada. What is that? What is that? Prabhupada told, Kanaka Kamini Pratishta Bhagini Charya Chijari Sekar. Symptom. First symptom I say, second symptom. Third Bhakti Muttaka told, Rigidity, simplicity, rigidity, and neutral position. So, Shankar Bhagavan is very neutral. Great. So, Bhagavan himself selected him. You have no right to speak anything. Bhagavan himself selected him. Who are you to pass remark about Shankar? Bhagavan selected him. As a Bhuvaneshwar, as Vishwanath, who are you? As Bhuteshwar, Chakaleshwar, eh? Gopeshwar, oh, who are you to pass Rima? Bhagavan selected them. Bhuvaneshwar was given seva of Jagannath. Jagan said, I give you seva. Okay, you do it. Then who are you to pass this kind of remark? Bad remark about that great Vaishnava, I can tolerate. So by insulting, you know, that, that Dakya Pajapati, what was a miserable condition. Oh my God. Even his throat was cut off. And after that he got goat face. As some philosophical interpretation. Those who are like goat, goats. Eh? Those who are like goats, na? They are getting this kind of result, final result. So don't try to express your vanity simply because you are successful in preaching and successful in making hundreds of temples. This is not success. Foolish. This is not success. Success is a very secret thing. This is not I know the whole world can reject me. I don't care. I know the whole world can reject me, but I don't care. I don't care. So this is not success. The thousands of disciples I make, I went to foreign countries, uh, hundreds of temples all over the world. This is not symptom. This is not the success. Success means Krishna Prema. You can burst into tears by watching the pain of the whole world. You can embrace your God brother. I have no I have no competition with anybody. I never hate anybody. Just now I can see they are going to change their mood. Immediately I go and embrace them and kiss them. They know. I am speaking so many heavy things to them. But you can test me. The day they change their mood, I can immediately go and embrace them. They tested me. They tested me already, many times this thing. External I am heavy. But when I can say they are going to change their mood, they are going to confess we are down in some mistake, immediately go and kiss them. I cannot show any hostile attitude against them. I cannot. They are my godmother. Anyway, they are doing something, they don't reject me. Because of my hard, you know, Siddha, okay. But someday we can realize and come to make an embrace them. I cannot hate them. It's wrong, Siddhant. It's wrong. A Vaishnava cannot have any enmity with anybody. It is written in Bhagavad Mahaprabhu speaking to Sanatan. Ete nahi adbhuta, ete nahi adbhuta bhyadaha, tabo ahingshadayo gunaha. He bad, he is the cruel hunter. It is quite natural. That now you are decorated with so nice qualities because you are now Vaishnava. Previously, uh, 
So, ete nahi adbhuta vedaha tabo ahinsa daigunaha. Hari bhakti prabhritva je te su na paratapinaha. I can never become the cause of your pain. I can never become the cause of your fall down. I can I cannot. No, I know you are going doing to doing doing something against me. Still I can express my behavior in such a way so that today or tomorrow you can feel some reaction. I have done so many enmity with Maharaj, but still Maharaj is not going to, you know, take any negative step. Like going to court or fight with anybody. What is this? Then today or tomorrow you can change your mood. So by expressing this kind of enmity with Sankar Bhagavan, what was the result? Final consequent of Dakka Puja. Dakka Puja was successful. Dakka Puja was successful. What do you mean by success? What do you mean by success? How how you are going to speak in front of public in written and voice that all my god brother they are you know they are useless they are you know they are not successful uh, that's why i was bound to go this word you cannot use what do you mean by success what do you mean by success if my guru maharaj give me order to go on speaking harikatha then i can go on speaking harikatha what is the success? What is my failure? That judgment is there in the hand of Guru Bhargava. Who are you to pass this kind of? What do you mean by success? What do you mean by success? Guru Bhargava can give. I cannot live. I cannot live. I cannot live this this kind of judgment. Who is Vaishnava? Who is not? Who is Vaishnava? Who is not? Who is successful? Who is failure? This kind of judgment. I surely I cannot live in the hand of a Tamaguni people, Rajaguni people, in the hand of a demon. Surely I am not so foolish, I am foolish, but not so foolish as to give the judgment in the hand of some some demon. Ah, you can he is Vaishnava, he is not Vaishnava. He is demon. How I can give? How I can live this judgment? I can give this judgment. In the hand of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Raghur Prabhupada. I can give this judgment in the hand of Siddha Sivar Maharaj. I myself cannot pass. To carry out the order of Guru Bharga, to carry out the Guru, to carry out the order of Guru is the main thing of disciple. So what do you mean by success? If my Guru Maharaj is speaking, giving word, hey, you can clean all temple and clean all latrine bathroom, I will have to do it. No, I am educated, I can. Not that. If my Guru Maharaj to test me, if engage me in cleaning the latrine bathroom, uh, all, you know, then this is my seva. Maybe you can help me. Maybe it's your privilege you can help me, but this is my seva. Guru, Guru told me to clean. Not that I can pass lectures so I am a great, you know, I can cheat people all over the world. That's why I am a great Vaishnava. What is this? Realize soul, you show me. Realize soul, show me. Who is realize soul? Who is realize soul? You, you, you come on, you and get some judge without paying any, paying any bribe, bribe. If you have your power. I know you can make, give bribe to them. And you can play. Their Siddhanta Vichar, their mood, their character, they are material man. Still they can understand this is genuine and this is false. They are material. Still they can understand. Oh, it's right. It's been wrong. We have no right. What do you mean by success? To carry out the order of Gurudev is my only duty. I have no right to fight with anybody. Guru my order. So they want you to carry out the order. So, they are successful or not success, that depends upon uh, that, that judgment Prabhupada can speak. The, uh, if they are not success, then how Prabhupada is speaking? How is Prabhupada speaking? They are as good as me. I am going to send in foreign countries such a preachers, those who are as good as me. That means you are going to insult Prabhupada. What seva you have done? What seva you have done of Gauriya Mart? 
What seva you show me? What seva you have done? What seva you have done? A Gauriyamat. Perfect seva. External seva you can show. But you show me. So that you can pass this kind of remark. It's not good. So, many people asking me about Shankar Bhagavan. So many. When I, wa when, when I wanted to install Sivji Maharaj here, whole world started expressing confusion about me. Why Maharaj? You are Shaiva. But then I was bound to write one article, big article, where I wanted to prove why I wanted to love this great Vaishnava. Because I don't know where Maha Bhagavan is. I don't know. Very, very important Siddhanta Vishar. Every year, from new, new angle, I am discussing, trying to discuss. Every year, previous year, you say, different discuss. To the, to this year, different discuss. So, many people expressing doubt about Sankar. Why Sila Bhakti Pumatpuri Goswami used to love Sankar so much? Why Sam Baba? This is, why? <laughs> you don't know. They want to identify themselves as a Raganuga Bhakta. Who is Raganuga? Who is Sankar? <laughs> That's kind of big devotee there. They are going to commit offense on the lotus with Sankar. Are Hari Bhakti Bilas, you can go foolish. Go through Hari Bhakti Bilas, what is written? Wow, wow. Sanatana Gosai writing. You will have to observe this Sivaratri. Very important city to get bhakti. Very important. So you will have to give honor to this city. If you don't like to give, that's up to you. Up to you. I don't know what you like to do. Like the case of Advaita Gosai, his Shadasip. You know, many times I told. You know, many times I told that Sadasip. What do you mean by Sadasip? Mahavishnu Jagat Karta Yam Mayaya Srijati Adaha Tasha Vatare Eva Yam Adhita Chari Swaraha. So Sadasib Adhita Gusa is non different from Mahavishnu. Is Vishnu Tattva. He is staying there in Baikuntha Jagat. Then what is Sankar? What is about Sankar Bhagavan? Yes. Is Sankar Bhagavan coming from him? He is staying in Kailas. He is expressing this kind of lila to, to cheat people, those who are cheaters. If you go through Bhagavatam, Padapuran, any sastra, all the time you can find, all the time you can find Sankar Uvacha, Narad Uvacha, any sastra, you open. Bhagavad or Padapuran, Skandu, anywhere. You can only find Sankar Vacha, Sankar Vacha, Sankar speaking, Naraji speaking. The two, this, these two are the great exalted Acharya. One is Naraji Maharaj. Naraji Maharaj is great. And Sankar Bhagavan. Though Sankar Bhagavan always like to uh, st uh, stay in the guise of non-devotee, but still, I can show you countless evidence from Sastra that it is for Sankar, Pracheta, the God Bhakti. So many cases I can show you. But still, his external representation of his sorrow, this, that, it's, it's, it looks, it seems, is the only body. Like the case of policeman. Policeman, one. District Jas Guru Maharaj wrote in his life history, great Vishnu is District Jas. Externally very hard. District Jas, very hard. Judge, High Court Judge or Supreme Court Judge, they can, they can become Vishnu. Who can say? But still, they will have to wear police, maybe you are SP of police. You are Vaishnava. But not that you can go with Dhuti and Tilak. But you have to go. You are a service holder, no? You have to go like police race, apron. You will have to take the apron of police because you are bound to take it. Like the case. 
Shankar Bhagavan surely not Tamaguni. If I go on speaking, it will take months after months. Shankar Bhagavan is not Tamagun. But externally, he is in charge of Tamagun. He is in charge of Tamagun. Someday I can discuss about Shangsha and Vivinangsha. Shangsha, Vivinangsha. Shangsha means those who are all Vishnu Tattas, they are all Shangsha. All other, they are Vivinangsha. Advaita Gosai is Shangsha. But this Shankar coming here, he is coming from there. So it seems he is. Uh, he is Tamagun, always Tamagun. But Tamagun is one kind of decoration, uh, one kind of, you know, exhibition for him. So that nobody can understand. This way, he likes to deliver all countless jivas from material torture. It's nature. He never won name, fame, position. Shankar Bhagavan never. Shankar Bhagavan never demand, I mean, love, puja, patisha, nothing. He has Sampradaya Nishtha, he has Guru Nishtha, yes. From Sankarshan, he took mantra, so Guru Nishtha, Sampradaya Nishtha, and Nam Nishtha. All the day and night doing Harinam. Doing na? Sankar. Hanumanji Maharaj, whole day and night. Sankar Bhagavan, whole. In Kirtan also written na? Jaharo Anande Shiva Vasano na jane. It is written. Eh? Narad Muni Bajai Bina Radhika Ramono Nami. There you can see. They are Sankar Brahma, they have no cloth, they are dancing in the name of God. Ecstatic feeling. So it's very important thing. Very important. So externally, Sankar Bhagavan expressing this. And one major thing, I can touch something because you are not giving me time. You are not giving me time. You are going to cheat me. You are going to cheat yourself. In spite of repeated requests, that you come early, come early, you are going to cheat me. But you be sure you are going to cheat yourself. I come early, but you are not coming. So, what to do? I have nothing to do. I have to run and start. Another way. So, Shankar Bhagavan externally maintaining this kind of besa and those who are demon, they think oh, it's right, is our devota. They think Shankar Bhagavan is Supreme Lord, but not that. Shankar Bhagavan is not Supreme Lord. Kiram yatha dodhi vikara visesa yogat sanjayate nahi tatha prithagasti hetu Ja Sambatam Opi Sampoiti Karyat Gavinda Madhi Purushantam. Shankar Bhagavan never demand that I am a Supreme Lord. Shankar Bhagavan always say, I have my Lord. I have my Lord. I have to follow him. Then you think Shankar Bhagavan is Supreme Lord. But Shankar Bhagavan, you are, I am not Supreme Lord. Supreme Lord is there. I am going to follow his order. So many contradictory points I can discuss so that your brain can get around. But time is not there. So it is written, I can touch this point, someday I can discuss. Just like one pot of milk in touch of card, if you keep in place, it can get converted into, you know, milk. It, in touch of card, it get con con converted into card. But originally it was milk. You have no right to con you have no right to deny that from milk this card came. You have no right to demand that from milk that card came. But still, if I ask you, you can you give me milk again from card? Not possible. Possible? Not possible. I am sure that from milk cart came. But now I say, I need that cart, I don't need, I, I, I need milk. Then I, can I give you back? Not possible. Same. From Bhagavan, 
Shankar Bhagavan taking this form. And so, in Shastra it is written, Shankar Bhagavan is non-different from Bhagavan. According to Achinta Veda According to Achinta, inconceivable Siddhanta Vishaya. Or simultaneously at a time, different and non-different. How possible? Ah, what is different? I cannot do. What is non-different? No, at a time possible. It is on the basis of Achinta Veda Tattva given by our Mahaprabhu. We understand. Achinta Veda Tattva is eternally present. Mahaprabhu wanted to show to solve the problem between four sampradayas. Ramanu Sampradaya is very nice. Madhya Sampradaya, very nice. So all nice. But there is some shortage. Mahaprabhu wanted to give one particular Siddhanta Achinta. Then they can harmonize also. All Siddhanta Veda, they are basing on Kal, Karma, Jeev, all, everything. Bhagavan, Kal, Karma, Jeev, all. But representation is a little bit different. He presented different. But they, all people in confusion. Finally, Mahaprabhu wanted to give the Achinta Veda Tattva to harmonize the whole four Siddhanta. Okay. There is no disparity. It's okay. So, Shankar Bhagavan is non different from. From Supreme Lord. Non-different from Supreme Lord doesn't mean that Sankar Bhagavan is Supreme Lord. Follow what I say. Non-different doesn't mean Sankar Bhagavan. So you say non-different. Like material mathematics. If A is equal to B, if B is equal to C, C is equal to D, then A must be equal to D. You can apply this logic. Maharaj, what do you say? You say non-different. So it's right. That Sankar Bhagavan is, you say, Non-different Bhagavan, that's when really, Sankar Bhagavan is also stupid. What wrong in it? The plain logic, common logic can speak this way. But there is some inconceivable Siddhanta Visha. That is called Achinta Vedavata. According to that Siddhanta, simultaneously Bhagavan is different and non-different from Sankar. And when you are discussing different and non-different, the religion Baladev Vida also writing, Baladev Vida also speaking, when there is a when, when there is a vichar, uh, when there is a siddhanta vichar of different or non-different. Bhakti Mahatma also writing. When there is question of difference or non -different. In that case, be sure, difference must be a predominating factor. Otherwise, Achinta Veda is useless. When the question of non-different, different and non-different coming, then this within this Siddhanta Vichar, different is the most predominating factor. Otherwise, non-different, this word is become useless. So, due to prema, shakshad haritena samasya sastoi rukta stata bhavvate vishadvi kintu pavurjo priyavatasya bande guru si charna. In Guru Vashtakam, Vishwanath Chakotiv writing, Though he is non-different from Bhagavan, but still, in what uh, sense? By so dear, so dear, so dear and near one, Bhagavan. Shaksha dharityana samasya sastri rukta stata bhavvate vishadvi kintu pavurjo priyoiva tasya bande. Like the case, Bhagavan Sikhis was speaking to uh, us about Uddhav. Eh? Uddhav is exactly like me. Uddhav is just ditto, exactly is just same like me. Na anuopi mannunam. Na anuopi mannunam. Like an atom, atom, you know, atom or, uh, you know, or molecule. Anuopi. I mean, Bhagavan wanted to, wanted to make us feel that Uddhav and I myself non-different. Onu of women, there is no gapping. You cannot see any molecule or atom. Bhagavan speaks, then Bhagavan speaking. No Uddhapo, Onu of no. Uddhav is non-different from me, not even, not even, a gap, not even a slight gapping, 
like a gaping of molecular atom. Not there. Between me and the Follow. This is the. So, Priyate. Now I can discuss next Janma and uh, next uh, Savirati. I can discuss this point. Today I can touch because you, do, you are not going to give me time. I have to run immediately like a dog. So, how it is possible that Shankar Bhagavan and uh, sometime fighting with Krishna, sometime expressing doubt or Daita Gosai, what's that? Why? Why Shankar? If you say, Hey, Shankar Bhagavan is so, so dear, that then sometimes we see Shankar fighting with uh, is Bhagavan. What is the reason? What is the reason? Shankar Bhagavan fighting with Bhagavan Sri Krishna on behalf of Kasi Raj, eh? on behalf of Banasur. Why so? That answer you can get after. Why is Shankar Bhagavan going to preach Mayabad? If he is so dear and near of all this answer you can get someday. I have nothing to do. I will just stop here. So, this is also one kind of fallacy. How is possible the dear most Sankar going to preach Mayavad by the order of Bhagavan? So, those who are near and dear ones, suppose you are very dear to me, any confidence. Any confidential job, I like to trust you. Okay. I think you are the best representative you can do it on behalf of me. I cannot call outside man, oh, I have some secret seva, you can do it. You can do it? No. So this point I can elaborate, I can discuss what is the excellent seva of Sankar Bhagavan. No demigod neighbor can de demand that they are equal to Sankar's. Sankar is talking. Nimnaganam yatha ganga devanam achuto yatha vaishnavanam yatha sambhu purananam tu idam bhagavatam. Banchakal padrashtaki. Patitanam bhavana bhavishnu. You will have to observe this in our Sivarati Bhutto. So many important things I wanted to say, but time you don't give. 